Good morning students and welcome back to my class. Today in our class we are going to study about transportation in plants. We know that in human beings the transportation of digested food, water, waste and gases takes place through blood. But when it comes to plants, plants do not have blood. We all know that plants don't have blood. Then how does water and food get transported in plants? The answer is vascular tissues. Vascular tissues are special tissues which are found in plants which helps in transporting food and water. Vascular tissue consists of two special tissues, xylem and phloem. Xylem helps in transportation of water, whereas phloem helps in transportation of food. So we can say that the transportation system in plant consists of two special tissues called xylem and phloem. Xylem and phloem together are known as vascular tissues. Now let us study in brief how the water from the soil reaches to different parts of the body. Let us see a diagram over here. The main source of water for the plant is soil. We all know that plant absorb water from the soil. The part of the plant which remains in contact with the soil which actually absorbs the water is roots. Okay, so the cells present in the roots absorbs water from the soil. Why? Roots absorbs water, the water get transported into xylem vessels or xylem tissues. So, the xylem tissue present in root carries water and dissolved minerals from soil. Children, we all know that soil also contains different minerals. These minerals are very important for the growth of plant. So, when the roots absorbs water from the soil, it also absorbs minerals. Okay. I hope up to here the topic is clear. Again, I'm revising. Who absorbs water? Roots absorbs water from soil. Now, what is present in the roots which carries the water from the roots to different part? It is the xylem who carries water and dissolved minerals from soil or I should say from roots to different parts of the body. Now, see the direction or the flow of water in xylem. You will see that the flow of water in xylem is always unidirectional. That means the water flows only in one direction. That is in Upward direction. Water hamisha ek hi direction mein flow hota hai. Aur wo konsa direction hota hai? Upward. Water soil se absorb honne ke baad root se plant ke upper body parts mein transport hota hai. This is the reason why we say that xylem transport water in unidirection or in one direction. Now let us see the use of water in the plants. There are various uses of water by plants. First use, plant use this water for photosynthesis. Second, when the water is absorbed from the roots, the water also carries minerals along them. Now let us see how the food is transported in plants. So we all know that plants are autotrophs and they prepare their own food by the process of photosynthesis. Now where does the photosynthesis occurs? 
photosynthesis occurs in green leaves. So we can say that leaf is a kitchen of plant. So remember children, food is made by leaf and during photosynthesis the food which a plant prepares is glucose. But when this glucose is transported to different parts of the plant, it is transported in the form of sucrose. S-U-C-R-O-S-E, sucrose. Remember it better, it's a very important point. That in plants, glucose is transported in the form of sucrose. Now the tissue which is responsible for transporting food to different parts of the plant body from leaf is phloem. Phloem is the tissue which transfer or carries food from leaf to different parts of the plant body. Now let us see the direction or the flow of food in phloem. Phloem transfer the food in two directions or in bi-direction which means phloem carry food in upward direction from the leaf. Can you see the arrow? It is moving in upward direction. That means phloem is taking the prepared food from leaf in upper direction or to the upper part of the plant body. Remember, phloem also carries the food in downward direction also. See the arrow? It is representing that phloem is carrying food down from the leaf. Why better? Because each and every part of the plant needs energy or needs food. So what is the basic difference between xylem and phloem? First difference, xylem carries water. Whereas phloem carries food. Xylem carries water in one direction. That is upward direction. Whereas phloem transport sucrose in both the direction. Upward direction as well as downward direction. Children, now let us see how roots absorb water from soil. Children, Keep in mind that plants absorb water 24 hours. They don't use all these water for photosynthesis. So what happens to the extra water? We all know that photosynthesis is done in leaves. Leaves have minute or tiny little pores called stomata. Previously also we have studied that stomata are tiny opening which is used by plants to exchange gases as well as to remove excess water. So over here, the extra water which is not used by the plants gets evaporated in the form of vapors from the surface of leaves through stomata. And the process is known as transpiration. Once again, I'm repeating the definition of transpiration. Hear it very carefully. What is transpiration? The evaporation of water in the form of vapors from the surface of the leaves through stomata is known as transpiration. What happens when the water starts evaporating from the surface of leaves? When the excess water starts evaporating from the surface of leaves, it creates a suction force. Now what is a suction force? It is same as we drink water from straw. Jaise hum straw se paani suck karke paani peete hai. In the same way, the suction force is generated over here in the leaves. Jaise suction force develop hota hai leaves mein, the leaves start pulling or drawing the water from branches. Branches kaha se water pull karte hai? Branches start drawing the water from the stem. And the stem eventually starts drawing the water from the root. And root finally absorbs the water from the soil through tiny hair-like structures called 
root hairs. Let us have a quick recap once again. Transpiration. What is transpiration? The loss of water from the surface of leaf in the form of vapors is known as transpiration. So what causes the absorption of soil? The suction force. When the water evaporates from the surface of leaf, it creates a suction force which makes the leaf to absorb or pull the water from branches. In return, the branches absorbs the water from stem. Stem absorbs the water from roots. Roots absorbs the water from the soil through tiny hair-like structures called root hairs. This is how roots absorbs water from soil. That's all for today children. We have studied how plants absorb water from the soil. Second, we have studied how food gets circulated or get transported in plants. In our next class, we will start a new chapter. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.